Hey folks, Scott Weingart, MCRIP Podcast. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to keep up with the medical blogs on the iPad or on your computer. And uh, this is basic for anyone who's internet savvy, but a lot of folks aren't, and that's okay. We still love you. So I wanted to give you the quick and easy way of doing it the way I like to. The first thing you want to do is you want to get a Google account. And uh, even if it's not going to be your email account, you still want it because you want to be able to follow MCRED on Google+. And you want to do what I'm going to show you right now, which is use Google Reader, which I think is the best of the uh, RSS reader programs. Um, so it's always going to be under more on your Google dashboard. And you just go to Reader. And now this is an empty account. Now let me show you how we could fill this up. I'm going to go to uh, one, of the, one of the sites I like. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called uh, mcrit.org. Now, right at the top of the mcrit site is this little icon. That icon is for RSS feeds. That's what you want to find. And everywhere you go on the web, if there's a site that has a blog or, or has medical content and doesn't have one of these RSS feeds somewhere on their page, hopefully somewhere easily discoverable, then... Uh, then boycott their site. Uh, these people are not web savvy. They don't know what they're doing, and you, you should just never go to them again. All right, that, that's a little harsh. But guys, if you run a medical site, put an RSS feed on it because people are not going to know when you update your stuff otherwise. So do it. Uh, I'm looking at you, Grant, from G Emergency. I love your site, but I never know when new stuff's there because you do not have an RSS feed. All right, put it up there. So uh, you'll find it in Life in the Fast Lane. You'll find it on ERCast. You'll find it on MCRIT. So let's click that bad boy and see what happens. Yeah, so you're going to get to this screen. It's going to say add to Google homepage. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. Or add to Google Reader. Click that bad boy. All right. Now, I now have a blog in my subscription box. Let me show you where that is right there. So now I got Amcrit. And if I click on that, I'm going to see the most recent articles in the feed. I could read them here, or I could click on the, the link up here and go right to the site. And every time something new gets put on the blog, it's going to be there in your Google Reader feed. Well, let, let's try one more just so you get the, uh, the gist here. Why, why don't we go to my favorite blog in the entire universe, Life in the Fast Lane. And look, because uh, Mike and Chris know what they're doing, right up here on the top, where you'd expect to see her in the upper right, is an RSS link. Let's click on that. Now a different screen. Same thing, though. Look for that Google icon. Plus Google. I'm going to add it to Google Reader. And now there, there's life in the fast lane. There's all the good life in the fast lane stuff sitting right there, ready for you to read. But may, maybe you don't want to read on your computer. You could use the Google Reader application for the iPad, but I prefer an application called Flipboard. One word, Flipboard. Let me show you what that looks like. Uh, it's beautiful. All right, and then what you want to do is you want to go to the uh, app store and get an app that's free called Flipboard. It's a beautiful app. And what it'll allow you to do is actually add, if you go to this little uh, settings icon down here, your Google Reader account you just created to the application. And then make sure your settings are correct when you do this. What you want is you want indicate unread items on, mark red after flip on and show only on red on. And if you do those three things, you're going to have an incredible reading experience with this Flipboard app. So here's how it looks. And you see this is beautiful. It's like reading a magazine. And you'll get all your medical blogs updated here. Uh, when you flip through, you actually uh, will be marking those as red. You won't see them again. If you see something you like, you click it. It'll expand to full size and you could always go directly to the website and watch, uh, view the full article. So this is how I uh, keep up with the medical blogs.